What's good, y'all? I'm coming to you live today. I'm going to be talking about a bunch of things. Um, I'm going to be talking about ammo. Got two different types of ammo. Uh, holsters. I actually have three different type of holsters I'm going to be talking about. And also, eye and ear protection. First, I want to talk about this uh, ammo incorporated. This uh, 230 grain jacketed hollow point um ballistic data is 920 foot pounds per second muzzle velocity muzzle energy 432 pounds it's a pretty good bullet i mean i haven't fired it but i will be doing a test one run on it um the bullet itself it comes 20 in the box and I'm going to show you the bullet. It's regular jacket at hollow point. Let's see if y'all can see that. But um, it's a good self-defense round. Now, again, if y'all have any instruction, like any suggestions on ammo for self-defense, please leave a comment in the comments just comment down below um very good bullet i mean like it's a little heavy because of the grainage um like i said when i go to the range i will be doing a, a, a test on one of each and letting y'all know now when i first hurt when i first got the uh glock 21 gen 4 this was the ammo that came with it Stellar and Bellet, 230 grain full metal jacket. What they say, ball head. This is a ball head. So, uh, pretty good training round when you're shooting at the range. It's also good to whatever bullet that you carry in your gun is the, the grainage wise that's the one you should be shooting with at the range um i heard that at the gun show and it makes a whole lot of sense it makes a whole lot of sense because when i had my nine the nine i was using 114 grain i think it was fmj full metal jacket and then I used 124 grain. I'm like FMJ. I'm like, holy sugar, honey, iced tea. This gun is kicking. Makes sense. Stay with the grains. Now, I'm going to be talking about this other uh, ammo. It's a Sierra Outdoor Master. Made by Six Sour. Now, when I went to the gun store, I said I wanted some SIG, uh, FMJ, no, not FMJ, um, full metal jacket ammo. Um, they was like, here, this is made by SIG. I did my research. It's, uh, the, I don't have the stats on this one, but it's, uh, 185 green very light very light and if you could i'm about to show you the comparison i'm about to show you the comparison 230 grain 185 grain jacketed hollow points look at the hollow this is the 230 versus the 185 which means the spread is going to be a lot more with this one with the 185 sierra made by uh six hour versus the ammo incorporated again um if y'all got any good self-defense uh hollow point ammo Please leave a comment. Let me know.
Alright. Very some good self-defense ammo. And um like I said, I will be uh shooting one of each on Friday to let y'all know. Which is I wish I could I wish I had some ballistics gel, but like I said, I just started this channel not too long ago. And I'm not up there yet to get any ballistics gel. So if I could get a sponsor to sponsor this channel, please leave a comment and let me know. Now, I'm going to talk about um, holsters. With the Glock 21, you have so many holster combinations. Like, you can go to Alien Gear, We The People Holster, a bunch of them. But, I find Amazon and this uh, holster company that's veteran-owned, so shout out to all the veterans. Thank you for your service. Um, BW Customs, veteran-owned and operated. There you go. There's the card that came with the holster. Now, I'm going to talk about the, the gun, the holster. Again, first things first, always do a safety check. Make sure nothing in the chamber. Y'all can see, no mag. This is the holster from BW Customs. Um, what sold me on this holster alone was the clips. Now, I could take the, this clip off of this one and put it on my one I got off of Amazon, which I'm going to show you a little bit later. Um, but it just like has everything for optic. I'm, I'm going to even show you. Look, if this was a, a optic ready, you got the optic ready right here. But um, one thing it don't have is for the light, um, which I do have a light for it. Um, again, not if y'all know of any buddy that does that with the holsters let me know in the comment section now this is an ambride i got this off of amazon man big shout out to amazon they come through in the clutch i'm talking about the clutch see and a good holster test let's go back to the one from a uh, bw customs what I like to do is this right here because um, I have to adjust the retention because you don't want any unnecessary pullouts. But um, let's, let's back up a little bit. If you wear pants, jeans that has belts, this right here, see how it has the little lip right there? It clips up under your belt so you could, for in the waistband appendix, I can't do it because I got a little bit of meat in the midsection. But um, if you want to do it right here, I never suggest you putting your gun back here. So, like, because anybody could bump into you and take your gun, pow, pow, you're done. And if that happens, you really don't need a license to carry. Matter of fact, you don't even need to own a gun if that happens. I'm just keeping it true, like, because I've seen video on top of video where this has happened and um, where the weapons is not secure. They either A, get, uh, get them taken, or B, they shoot their damn self. So a good holster with good locking retention, it's a plus for me. Now, this one from Amazon, it actually has the markings, if you can see, G21, Glock 21. Same thing, uh, adjustable retention right here. Uh, plastic little belt clip. You can adjust the cant for angle, but also you have the plastic uh, lip. Not like this one which I'm completely sold on. And the sweat guard, I'm real big because, you know, I'm a big guy, 6'6". Six, six. I'm just going to leave it at that. 
300 plus. So I'm in the high threes. So I can't carry appendix because of my all this. But uh, this sweat guard, there's like, it's, I love it. And plus what I love about this holster is that you can switch it from right side to left. That's what I love about it. Outside or inside the waistband. However you want it. Now, I have another holster. It's an actual belly band, which I will demonstrate. <clears throat> Off of Amazon. It's a... Amago, I think. I can't pronounce it, so if I'm saying it right... Let me know in the comments. If not, okay. Um, it carries, it has room for your mags. Two mags and the firearm. If this is perfect for anybody who is, uh, and I always say, Whatever your gun is showing, that's the way the mag should be showing. Because if you're in something, you got a boom, you good. Um, as you can see again, it's empty. Nothing's in there because you know how the safety critics are. Um, yeah, so keep the mag pointed the same way. So you're not fumbling once you're in, God forbid. I hope none of y'all are ever in a shootout, let alone me. But, yeah. This is good. Um, you wrap it around. Around you. And they got different sizes. Like I said, Amazon is the sugar honey iced tea. I'm going to get so, so y'all can see. You see it? But mine's is a... Uh, a full size Glock 21, so it sticks out a little bit. This is more so for compact weapons, like the uh, subcompact Glocks. It fits almost anything, but I just wanted y'all to see this for um, comparison so y'all can see. So let's take this out. Boom, boom, boom. Now, now, this can't go around my waist. I've adjusted it so many times, but um, it's a little fanny pack that you can carry as a crossbody. Now, also, again, it has room for two mags, right? And, again, the firearm. I just want y'all to see it. It's a black tactical bag. And you got little rooms back here for like your, your wild keys, wallet. Uh, your firearm is tucked away right there. Um, this is good also for uh, people who, <coughs> excuse me, are either like this one. If you're jogging. If you're out exercising, jogging around this, if you don't want to carry this the way you're down, you have this. And thus this right here, because I, like I said, I'm, I'm a big guy and I sweat a lot. This right here has a neoprene backing that whisks away the sweat. And you could either A, put it in the washer or B, uh, put it in the washer and let it air dry. I never suggest y'all putting it in the dryer because it could lose his form but back to this bag right here and i'm gonna put the links to all this the holster the two oh, this holster the belly band and this bag i'm gonna put the links in the description so um yeah this is a very cool bag like i said like you uh And you put it around like this. And if you in a situation, you good. Again, 
My gun is empty. Nothing's in there. You're good. You see, but this, that's how that is. So, let's get that ready. And now, let's talk about the eye and ear safety for when you go to the range. That's the big, big safety thing. Now, I love this. I've seen people use them at ranges. Um, big shout out to the OG Jerry Mitchell act. I see him with them. Um, a lot of the channels that I watch on here, um, I watch them. I look at the ears, the, eyes, the ears, and I be like, yo, those things is cool, but how are they talking and still here with the regular um, ears that they got at the range? I just took a look at it, and once again, I picked this up. This is a, this is called Zohan, not to be confused with the movie. Uh, Zohan headset. This is real, and and they fit comfortably like you put them on turn them on right here and what it does it muffles out the gunshot the the shots when you're at the range but you can still hear the person talk to you like i got them on i'm talking to y'all i hear myself perfect and you got these handy dandy uh adjustable Protective eyewear. You see? And also, it came with extra earplugs. Um, again, link will be in the description about these. Uh, these products, I got them all off Amazon. And, um... This right here takes, uh, where's the, I think this is it right here. Takes two AAA batteries. Now, you put them on there. You got to make sure that you turn it off. When you do it, you, yep, just like you do regular. Comes with this handy dandy uh, case right here. Perfect for the range. Very perfect for the range. Um, now, talk about range bags. I have this range bag. Uh, it has room for your magazines right here, weapon. I have some stuff in there. I went to the range uh, not too long ago. And you got your... We got a lot of storage spots. I mean, this is a perfect, the perfect range bag. Like, you got some people that come to the range and have these big old duffel bag type range bags, tactical range bags. And that's what um you call a tier one range Rambo. Oh, I got this. I got that. I could give two craps about that. Just because you got all that don't make you can shoot better. You just going for looks. I mean, like this bag right here. Reason being I love this is because one, I love any I love stuff that are black that's black. And um it's uh that came with this little handy dandy carabiner. And you put that right there. And you're good. That's all you need. You don't need them big old bags. You really don't. Right? So, uh, once again, thank you. And again, big shout out to... I'm going to give a shout out to uh, the guys down at the Philadelphia Gun Range. I'm going to uh, put everything in the description. If I don't put it in the description, just look in the comments. Um... Another shout out to the guys at uh, Frank's Double Tap. It's literally down the street from my house. Uh, address, phone number will be either in the description or the comments. Um, the Amazon links. 
I'm going to try to put these in the comment. I mean, in the description. So if y'all want to go out and look and purchase them. And again, like I said in yesterday's video, please, 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 if any of y'all can tell me where I can get a good speed loader from, please let me know. My thumbs will love you for life. All right. Again, thanks for watching. Um, Friday. I will be posting another video on how to properly do two things. One, properly secure your weapon. And two, how to properly clean your weapon. Peace. Thanks for watching.